Yes, oh, is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. I'm off to see my girlfriend. <laughs> well, I mean, that I was never girlfriend. implied nor stated. Okay, fine. <laughs> yep, I'll go. I mean, with I it. That's the reality talking. you live in. I'll shut up, Hatchet. Shut your ass up. <laughs> what? Shut, shut up your mouth. <laughs> no. All right, mate. You, you've got both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Moto Stoke. Moto Stoke. And the fire gym leader, Kabu. SpongeBob. I've come for your pickle. Uh. <laughs> How about I share with you a little tip about the leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine number two, undergoing some special training. Yeah, that's a really good name for a mine. <laughs> number two. <laughs> there's number one, there's number two, there's number three. <laughs> We're highly efficient. <laughs> if he's in there, then we can't take him on in motoscoping. Even if we zip right over there. Putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head to Galar Mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Uh, not exactly yet, because I, I, now I, I can get the, the Pokemon that kidnaps children. Oh, Why no. does he sound like Squidward? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I decided to make Pop sound like. Squidward Tentacle? Yeah, I decided to make. Jerk Bloom will kidnap anyone who is vulnerable. Well, except for fat kids. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, Jerk Bloom. It specifically children. says it, it dislikes fat children. <laughs> oh my god. They can't carry fat children. They are not strong enough to carry fat children. Those are kids in the Pokemon universe. Get that. They can't carry you. I am that's, safe. That's rude. <laughs> but also, but also get tough. muscles technically way more than fat. I gotta look. All that matters is your. Oh, you want to guess? No, I'm looking for the balloon bitch. Oh, yeah, but you can also get yeah, but no, his final I evolution he can't get without trading. Well, yeah, but you could still just kill him. In the Pokemon universe, which one would you rather be to avoid getting kidnapped? So ripped you're too heavy, or so fat you're too heavy? To be honest, if I was actually getting a ghost type that isn't Driftbloom, I think I'll go for this one. So I'll use a design a lot more. But anyway. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, uh, but anyway, I decided to make Pop sound like SpongeBob and his brother, the champion. Uh, I, I did Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Go, Aragorn. Did not do much damage. Kick it in the face. That you can't use fighting techniques against ghosts. All oh, right. This Ember didn't do much. I want to try and do a flame charge. Oh no. That also did not do much. Is this supposed to be weak to fire? No. Oh god. You oh might. god. Yeah, yeah, get fucking get out up. of there. Get, do not do not let Aragorn die. That's super potent, it's fine. 
What about one of the other ghosts? A lot of Numenor Ghost runs is weak to ghosts, ghost, remember? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Ghost is the weak bloody. to ghosts. And, Air and now Aragorn can no longer escape. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm being called for something. What's going on? Oh, dogs need to be taken out. That's all. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I just realized it's raining. It means fire type moves aren't as strong. Well, yes, rain would do that. I believe Aragorn can take another hit. Unless it's a threat. Mm. Oh fuck, he back. Ugh. Do not let this be where Aragorn dies. Don't worry, I'm healing. Okay, so this dust ball has really good moves. Get another flame charge and go and try and catch it. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay. Mean look. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot I had quick balls. You dumbass. Well, we caught it. Yeah. We got a new member. Probably not going to be a permanent one since final evolution also needs to be traded to evolve. God, that's such bullshit. <laughs> it's with a lot of ghost type like one that you have to do that. With those, it's because they expect you to trade it with your friends. Yeah. If it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spirit them away, or so it's said. <laughs> Is this basically saying if you're a bad kid, the Grim Reaper will take you? Yes. All right, we're renaming this guy. So in the po I guess it's canon that in the Pokemon oh. world, the Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper, will take you. Oh, I'm sorry, not not guy. This girl. What are we naming this girl? Well, I mean, I don't think this is the literal Grim Reaper. Yeah. They just look like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, what shall we name the little lady? Um... Shinigami, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Save that for one that's gonna actually stay on the team. Yeah. Uh... I kinda already know what the name the this- oh. oh! Thank you for the raid! Paper Moons. Yeah, thank you, Paper Moons. Welcome, I know the Sword Ghost Pokemon. We're definitely going to name it Excalibur. So because sure. it, because like its first stage says it, it pre, this it, it chooses who will be the next king. You mean Excalibur? Excalibur, yeah. Wait, it sounded like you just said Scalibur. <laughs> Scalibur. <laughs> anyway, so we're naming uh, Duskull. It, it kidnaps children. Actually, probably should not leak with that. <laughs> Wait, why uh, do so many Pokemon kidnap children? <laughs> because Just... it's a kid's game. <laughs> <laughs> I love my kid games to include a healthy amount of Amber Alerts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like an Amber Alert every five minutes. <laughs> Uh, now, is it a Duskull or a Driftloon this time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this is ignoring the other Pokemon that also kidnap kids, but... Oh yeah, there's more. Uh, give me a second, y'all. Okay. I wonder if there's a list out there somewhere of Pokemon <laughs> that kidnap children. That's just the list of Pokemon that kidnap children! Also, is Momo here? I think they're AFK. Ah.
I decided to be an asshole in another Discord server. Why? And uh, there was this poll. Not No one was really voting on it. It was already having one winner, and I decided to just tie it. <laughs> right, you little shit. Why do you like this? I don't know. Alright, so I'm back. Um, Welcome back. Call her... What? Um... Death Bell. Space or no space? No space. No space. If I correctly, Death Bell is a type of flower. Or at least in Skyrim, it's a type of poisonous flower. Wait, did I ever talk about the flower thing in Pokemon Ruby and Saf Sapphire and Emerald and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Yeah, the, the final time you talk, uh, you, you fight your arrival who has a, uh, a sickness is surrounded by a, f a bunch of red flowers that resemble death. Oh yeah, you have mentioned that. <laughs> and you don't see that character again after you fight him the last time, so... <laughs> it's so fucked. Well, it comes I'm, another one. I'm positive <gasps> you do not kill your rivals. Yes! This is one of the ones I want. Oh, finally. Golet. He's like a 1% encounter. Oh, yeah. Football, football. I'm gonna try one quick ball. Come on, please. Come on. Yeah! Yes! Fuck yeah! He's in there. Oh, yeah. He's in there. Now we probably could come up with another name. Oh, yeah. Well, he falls into a giant mech. Gundam? Gundam? <laughs> Dude, you like to give call him Big O? Big O? Oh, it has Big no o. gender. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Golet doesn't have gender. Okay. Call it Big O. Call it Gundam. Momo making all these Gundam Battle references. Mech. <laughs> Ava. Wait. I love Mech. Ava's a darker Gundam reference. Well, Wait, it right. depends on how she wants to fucking. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do it. Yeah, how Nightmare. You... Nightmare? Because in Code Geass, the mechs are called Nightmare Frames. Okay. And it fits. Nightmare. Yeah. I'm so shocked to see that because that was a 1% encounter in rain. Like, it's so rare. Oh, is that the drift loom over there? Uh, I don't think so. Because I think it's a uh, drift loom is also a 1% encounter. No, that's a bat. Oh. He's a little bat friend. Have you healed up all of your potions? I bite. What a fucking. I bite. <laughs> I bite. I can so fly to the Pokemon Center real quick. So fucking ridiculous. So we actually got two members that we're gonna keep. The thing is, I only had Shenandoah just stay on the team for the water gym. Because I didn't think I would find a grass ghost anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. And they, and they want to be able to hurt Shenandoah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you have that bike in yeah. Alright. So let's also rearrange my stuff. Okay, so for hunting ghost type, we don't want a ghost being the first person to be out. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, that's sort of a bad... Jerry said ghost is weak to dark. Yeah. 
Ghost but, is weak to dark. Like, is ghost actually weak to ghost? Ghost is weak to ghost, dark, and ghost and dark. It's weak to both of them. Ghost is weak to ghost? Yes. I looked it up earlier. So, so like yes. in a fight, like they, they kill first <laughs> and they die first. Yeah. So the battle's like really short. <laughs> ghost. It's ghost type weak to ghost. Yeah, ghost type Pokemon are weak to dark and ghost type attacks. That's pretty inf uh, fucking incredible. Like, if you ask me, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Legitimately. They are their own weakness. <laughs> the only thing that can hurt a ghost is another ghost. Kind of makes sense. If you think about it. But also, like... What the fuck? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, bro. Big rock snake. Wait, where's the generator on this? Because they they said they put like a generator on this so Rotom could attach to it. I do not see that. I mean, I see my phone <laughs> attached to it. Wait, maybe it's the little green eggs. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, about to go. Oh, it's turbo. not generator. It's supposed to be a motor. Oh yeah, motor. Now we're back over to where the ghost types are. Oh shoot, that's the evolution of dust blobs. Uh, this, the skull, I said that. Get that shit. We got a Pokeball. I'm not seeing any brick going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because of the rainy weather. I just drift them put off by rain. Well, the chance is a lot lower. So there is a cheat to it. How to change the weather. But I can't show it on stream. <laughs> Oh, right. You're gonna push your console's time forward. So the race is in yet. Yeah. It's still raining. Nice. Take care. Oh, what was that, Mama? Sorry, I was just telling, 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 telling Sparkly to take care. I'm not at work right now, actually. Oh. You say you're not at work, or you are? I am not at work. Oh. It sucks because this is what I dripped on earlier this stream. But I couldn't catch him because I didn't have the right badge. I have enough badges for him. Now, when I want to go catch them, they're not here. Just a shit ton of dust goals.
Oh, what did I just... Oh, dust bowl. Oh, it was just like... It was just an invisible dust bowl. Run! Run before I can force you to stay oh. run, stay here. But <laughs> look at the level. Oh, never mind, just kick it. Just <laughs> kill it. Okay. <laughs> Well, apparently changing time doesn't affect the weather anymore. So I guess I did yeah, catch I it. So. Maybe you just didn't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to intermission again. My favorite, because now, hey. look, drift looms! Oh yeah! Come here, bitch! Pick up that bitch. Is that you? Yes. Now, what level is it? It's hailing. <laughs> Wait, that's hail? I thought that was snow. No, apparently it's hail. You shouldn't be out here while it's hailing. It's bright. Yes, we got it. Your small sure child. Why, sad, but... Your small child skull could be irreparably damaged. Merit, we got Shadow Sneak now. Oh, not Shadow Sneak. Driftloom now, God damn it! Perhaps he can company. It approaches children. However, it often quickly runs away again when the children play too roughly with it. Oh, it doesn't talk about picking children up and leaving. <laughs> okay, so if, if, if a child is just particularly rowdy, it'll just melt the fuck out. Yeah. Alright, what are we naming this guy? So, mail, uh, <laughs> Hindenburg. I don't even know how to spell that, or if it's a <laughs> me, me neither, let me go look it up. Because if it's over 12, we can't... H-I-M-D-N-U-R-G. Or B-E-R-G, either B, B, I think it's B-E-R-G. Uh, I got it here. Uh, stream chat, it's under H -I -D -N -B -E -R -G. Yeah, A H I N D E N B U. -R. Oh, I was going Hiddenberg. I'm a fucking moron. Hiddenberg. <laughs> Hiddenberg. 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 Oh. So yeah, there. Our our balloon is named after a very famous dead balloon. Oh, the humanity. Well, not not the, the I mean the balloon got destroyed, but like mostly it's about the people who died on that bitch. But that right, yes. I... well, that's that's good for me. Oh look, the, the the evolution's right there, but I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> over leveled. Could try just touching it. No, it's usually if they're like that, they're like either in their forties or fifties. Take, take, take a ride, right? No, not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bright, bright, bright is bright. Bright's not that stupid. And I think this also means that when we find that uh, water ghost type you were trying to get, we need to name it after a sunken ship. I think I was going to replace that with the dry, uh, shoot me out of a cannon daddy. Yeah. So, like, my first thought there would be Titanic. But it has cannons, so that doesn't fit very well. What's a famous sunken battleship? The Indian Apple. Titanic? Titanic's yeah. not a battleship. Oh. The, the, yeah, uh, that's, that's why I said, like. Oh, I the battleship? I fucking don't. You, you, yeah, yeah I, it's up to you. My first that's thought is. You. My first thought is the Indianapolis. The USS Indianapolis, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. The best that's like. And that's the Indianapolis is basically one of the only ships I like battleships I know of, and it's literally just because I'm interested in sharks. And it's like a really infamous. Oh, never mind. Case I for just sharks. I clicked that fucking battleship. The first one I saw was Bismarck. I was like, maybe that. I just clicked it, and it was a Nazi battleship. So never mind. No, no. <laughs> what? I mean, I. 
I mean, it's based that that's one that went down, but we're not naming a Pokemon after that. No, I'm not we're joking. not. It was literally the first one in the Google search. I can show you, Momo. I no, I'm just no, I'm I I I, I believe you. I believe in fact, you. I'll put it in PW topics because. Wow. No, I, I I I believe you, Jerry. No, Trust, me. Trust me, brother. I believe you. Why is that the first one? No one knows. Yeah, this, these are dynamics. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna But also. Big funny boy. Yeah. <laughs> But also, maybe I'm bomb, baby little. I'm bomb. I'm on the floor. I live on. That's your baby. Maybe the benchmark, the first thing to pop up is just like, hey, you want to know something good that happened? This Nazi battleship sank. <laughs> Name it after the ship that sank it. Oh, yeah, but I, I, I don't think that ship is. That's fair. So I'm still thinking Indianapolis. Huh? <sighs> Newberry. Wiki Berry. This one gives you information. Root shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Root shop. My my throat's already sore. I don't need that. <laughs> Aragorn wants to learn to move head butt. <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, I forgot I had one of these. Yeah, this game is so much faster to level up. <laughs> we gotta look to see. I don't see any purple ones. Because the purple ones, they're harder, but they give you double of everything, basically. Okay, Discord streams have a real big issue. Yeah, I know. I saw the thing pop up. It's... The yellow caution sign thing. So around when are you able to get the pre-evolution to the shoot me out of cannon bag? Very, very late game, sadly. I will get it before probably the final gem. Actually, the seventh gem. Oh no. It's a giant tiny bird. It's a giant tiny bird. I really do like flame charge. Every time I use it, it ups my speed stat. Constantly increasing it. That's going be very beneficial and who knows why. <laughs> Why does Aragorn look so sleepy? Because he's tired of holding up the state of Newman War. <laughs> Jesus, that's Aragorn. You're just one shot. He has to hold up the lineage of all of Numenor. He just one shot at the bird. Of course, he's fucking tired. He's got to babysit all these fucking hobbits. <laughs> yeah, he's got to babysit these hobbits. Now he's jackassing around with this fucking and this dwarf trying to have a kill count contest. Ridiculous. What about second breakfast? Elvin's is. I don't think so. What's about second breakfast? That should have actually gone through. Okay. Okay. This is what we're doing now. Another bird. <laughs> Bird with 
bird with big hair. You know what's actually funny about this baby Pokemon hatchet? Is that mm -hmm. it will go out and fight every other Pokemon to prove it's strong, including big ass dragons. <laughs> Uh, it will not stop fighting until it's pretty much dead. I don't know if you guys have to do There's an anteater. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the sun. Yeah. Speaking of the sun, I don't think uh, Jiri or Momo heard this, but apparently Soul, Rock, and Lunatoon is spelled the exact same in both English and Japanese. And pronounced the same. I just found that oh, that was interesting. I thought every person would have seen this too. I guess not. Yeah. Oh, there's a Pikachu's name in Japan. Oh, don't you know? Pikachu's name in Japan is John Luke Pikachu. <laughs> That's. That 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 cannot be accurate. Well, actually, like it it's it's just entirely the case that in the first manga, when Ash got his first Pikachu, the name he gave said Pikachu is John Luke Peach. I the donkey I just I, I fucking Ash. You, you, you can look God it up. It's it, true. Ash. God damn. <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. Ash, I got a I got a bone. There weren't, as if there weren't enough reasons to dislike your miserable ass. Did you know that Ash had a gun pulled on him a couple times? Yes. <laughs> but it was removed from the American show. Yeah, it was. <laughs> In, in some scenes, it just looks like they're holding an invisible gun and just, they're just pointing. pointing. <laughs> yeah, they're just pointing. No weapon, just pointing. It's like at least it wasn't as ridiculous as the One Piece shit. Yeah. Those, those, some of that One Piece shit was absurd. Like of all the fucking yeah. animes to try to censor, censor. They tried to censor One Piece. It's fucking ridiculous. Utterly fucking ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, there was one where uh, shoot, it was the disc where it was it was the uh, arc where they see Usopp for the first time. I forgot what it was called, but um, where the disc, the uh, the sharp disc that was flung at Luffy was supposed to hit him on the back of the head. He caught it in his mouth in the shell. Caught it. Yeah. It was supposed to hit him in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was supposed to. He was supposed to punch Kobe like for a shot out for saying that it was impossible to be king of the pirates. Oh yeah. He's what like that was like episode one, scene one. Or well, scene. Scene. I it may have been like scene two. Oh no. It's large donkey. Mixed with goat. Because it has the goat eyes. Um, oh, it has the goat eyes. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So it's even more horrifying. <laughs> You're going to be fine, donkey. I have a... My, my Scottish accent is awful. Yeah. Yeah, this, this way... Well, how can I use a fighting type to catch it when Dynamax? Okay. Big fun. With a giant fist shoots out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's normal. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> did, did it just die from a small fish biting it? Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> God damn mimics. Oh yeah. There's also another good reason to go after the dens is because sometimes you'll get things that sell really high in shots. Oh, cool. So yeah. Dark and fighting. Oh, it's a two star, so that means I can get even better candies. So yeah, let me just challenge this. Oh, it's this guy, Hatchet! Scraggy. You know the one where its skin is technically its pants and it's trying to oh, constantly oh. pulling it up? Oh god damn it. <laughs> yep, it's this one. I'm gonna try and burn it again. Jesus Christ, it survived. <laughs> That's a sturdy wizard. <laughs> if we let this pants survive. Are these other people like actual humans? No, they're actually players. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, I feel like actual players would be Dynamax. <laughs> I like how the fairy, the little tiny fairy, did more damage than anyone else. <laughs> Never underestimate the fairies. Like I said, I was gonna burn it to death. And it blows up. Got <laughs> <laughs> that I bet I can't teach to any of my Pokemon. I have so many moves that, that I could teach that none of them can learn. What do you got to sell me? Yeah, I found this guy is. Why? Why does this guy look like he's wearing parts of like one of those, uh, like '80s vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles suit suits? Okay, so that's actually a good thing that I just got. Guy, rabbit. I didn't see in front of me. <laughs> Kill the rabbit with your rabbit. <laughs> Look at the level. <laughs> it's just bullying. <laughs> Barely gain any experience. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Now, why wishing pieces are special is because. You can create your own den. Oh. Oh, sweet. It's a two star. Now, what Pokemon is this? All I know is the fighting type. Oh, it's Timber. <laughs> Torkoal increased the power of fire type moves, so I know what move to use. <laughs> nah. Nah. 
I would actually be terrified if people found a way to do this in real life. That will never happen. Turn the rabbit into a kaiju. Yeah. Real life. And we're just using fire type moves. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god! <laughs> the turtle survived. <laughs> that was evil! <laughs> Why would you aim for the tiny one? Oh, can I see something funny though? Oh, Wamba has a swagman. Yeah. You, everyone knows what Shuffle is, right? The the, uh, the yellow turtle thing with the red shell. Right, yeah. Yeah, that Pokemon has the highest defense stat out of any Pokemon in the universe. Not even the gods have higher defense stat than it. He was such a high defense stat. That's fucking yeah, embarrassing. Why would the dog have a higher defense stack? That high key outrages. <laughs> the dogs never need to defend themselves. Where are the gods? Of course, everyone would have higher defense. I'm pretty sure the gods and Pokemon fight each other a lot. Yeah. I just want to imagine, like, one time the gods are arguing, who has the higher defense? And all of a sudden you just see a turtle, like, holding it up. Like, hey guys! Hey guys! How you doing? <laughs> like, here! Yeah, hi! Like, Get out of here, buddy! And they try to blast him, and, and nothing fucking happens. Yeah, I, can't. <laughs> I just imagine, like, a gigantic person kicks it and just crumples over because he just broke his toe. Yeah. Oh, God, uh, what? What, 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 what? What are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, that's not what are you trying to do. I love that Get voice up. so much. What are you trying to do, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you guys try. You guys try to play a trick on me. Okay. Okay, I'll play. <laughs> and they can't kill him. They just can't do anything about it <laughs> yeah. whatsoever. Uh, right? Yeah. Let me make this very clear. Kill this thing, you could like solve all hunger issues within several countries at once. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a whole bunch of radish. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> and it explodes. <laughs> Just fucking... Oh. I, I still find that funny how a tiny tur turtle has the highest fin set up out of everything. Oh, a bug. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, it right. A bug. A little bug that could. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. <laughs> <laughs> God, what was that sound? That's what Caterpie sounds like. It sounds awful. <laughs> Imagine it just like late at night and that's the sound you hear, Magic. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus. Can every Pokemon in this game basically turn red? Yeah. Every, every Pokemon can be Dynamax. Yeah. There's also special Dynamax forms that you can find in dens. But I have yet to see. Just fucking nuked the caterpillar. Yep.
Let's go ahead and look at all the candies I got. Thirty-three. Wait, see, it's all the X small ones. Sounds like you said use all the axolotl ones. <laughs> oh. You get a move. Well, let's counter do. Oh. No. Oh! <gasps> yes! Wink bunny. Wait! I just realized something. What? Gola is a type advantage against fire type. Oh, it, it is? Yes, ground is good against fire. Oh, nice. You're gonna start working on Gola. Yeah. <laughs> but also, we finally have the Twink Rabbit. I'm gonna keep Flame Charge. Because even though it doesn't have the strongest power of fire type moves, constantly being able to increase speed stat is a good thing. Yeah. So get rid of head button, learn pyro ball. So let's get nightmare some levels. Oh Jesus Christ! Now Hindenburg is the lowest leveled one. Yeah, I'm actually kind of wondering what moves is Nightmare. Do? It just looks like a little soccer ball with There's arms. Shadow Punch, Purse, Nightshade, and Stomping Tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to Fire Gym, your main mode of attack will just be having him throw a shit fit. Well, it actually has a really good thing. If the user's previous move has failed, the power of this move doubles. Oh. It's not bad. Yeah, I guess have him out and about now. Oh, with the... Game levels? Oh, with the Dynamax Dens, I, I fight them and then fly the candies onto them. Oh. I don't, I don't trust that bitch right there. Oh, it's a big panda bear. Especially since it likes to go out and hug people so hard that they die. Oh, right there. That's what I was talking about. The purple one. It gives you double stuff, but it's a lot harder. Don't run away. I want to hug you. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's a drift bloom. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey, this oh. might be a better drift one. I guess I just realized something. Like the the little the little picture for you is the fucking grass monkey. Why? Yeah, I didn't change it. it. It just automatically sets you to that. I didn't change it. I, or even I don't even remember how to change it. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to catch it. Like I said, it might be a better drift one. Fastball. Well, drift ones have different stats. Mm. And it might actually have better moves, too. Fastball. Football. Why didn't you even try using your damn football? You can't use balls until you defeat it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I'm testing it, and so it's, it's <laughs> 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 big twink bunny. 
Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit the screen. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it stood no chance. Now I can choose any ball I want. So I'll use the regular first ball. They do have the ability to break out, not get caught. I'm completely normal about our area. Oh, Shadow Ball! Ooh. It's actually a really strong ghost type move. Should we give a nickname to this Drifloo? Uh. It's female. Hindenburg. Uh, Hindenburg 2. No. Um. Is there. Is there any other famous blimps that died? Oh my god, Hatchet. Just. Just wow. <laughs> what, what do you expect? We're naming just, ghosts. Just, just. Just incredible. Incredible. The Zeppelin. I just ne you know. never I don't think the Zeppelin ever crashed, but Zeppelin is famous. <laughs> no. Zeppelin <laughs> could be the yeah, Zeppelin I guess could work. Oh shoot! No! Get I hit shit. B too many times. I think there's a person you can talk to to change his name. Okay, oh. it does actually know better moves than mine. But it's lower leveled. Well, you literally have items for leveling. Yeah. Damn it, so just named this one. Clowns to the left of me. Jokers to the right, here I am. It just means I can never use a 26 leveled uh, hidden bird again. <laughs> Yeah, just store, just store the false Hindenburg in, in the box for eternity. Yeah, I mean they're not alone. There's other Pokemon in the box. Yeah. Oh Jesus, your new drift loom is at one health. Yeah. I don't want to get nightmare up. That did not do much. <laughs> There we go. Now I want to give Dynamax candies to Nightmare. For what that does, uh, Dynamax candies increases the HP when you Dynamax. So it gets bigger, so yeah, those are useful. Also, if you ever can change the nickname again, that one's still good. Zeppelin's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes. Zeppelin is a good name. Stone Edge. Okay, yeah. Even though it does crit hand hit slams more easily, the power is above accuracy, which means there's a good chance it'll miss. A lot. And I don't even have enough to get it. <laughs> I'm thinking either Thunderbolt, because Drifloom can eventually have that as a move. Huh. Or Crunch. So that's a dark type move, good against Ghost. Do you have any Pokemon that can use a dark type move? Well, oh yeah, I have one that has dark type moves. I guess Ooh. Thunderbolt will make more sense. Because I already have like one of the moves. I think Drifloom has one and Duskull. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, I think Thunderbolt. The reason why I had to think right there is because that re that shop resets. Yeah. So 
see if I can teach. All of them can learn Shadow Ball. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give because Nightmare already has good moves at the moment. I think I'm gonna give the Drift Loom. Well, I was gonna. Uh, it's too late. I already chose it, so. Uh. Yeah, because he doesn't have many good moves. Yeah, because I was gonna say it would make sense to give it to Cinderace, so that like when you reach the Ghost Gym. There is no Ghost Gym. Oh, there's no ghost gem? Yeah, it was replaced with a dark type gem, which is ghost weakness. Oh, okay. Which is gonna be bad for you. Yeah, I know. I gotta find get Cinderace a move that's good against dark types. Okay. No, I was thinking there would be a ghost gem. That's no. because there's typically a ghost gem. Yeah. Yes! Drifone can learn Thunderbolt. Fuck yeah. I guess you could call Drift Bloom a little electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> you are my dad. You're my dad. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh my god, you know that song! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I love old Vine. Fucking hilarious. Wait, I just look in the save area. Look, it just looks like a bunch of babies following Cinderace. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, still pumpkin. Yeah, but I can't evolve it. So it needs to be traded to evolve. Uh, oh. I hate that they did that. It's so annoying. Does that mean at one point you need to trade all your beloved Pokemon for different Pokemon? Well, yeah, I already got a team picked out. I'm probably pretty sure. So I'm going to switch the pumpkin out with the tree ghost. Oh, shit. Traitor. I meant to, yeah, I meant to switch out. Uh, this may be bad. Uh oh. This is a poison water type, and I've sent out Cinderace. Oh god, can you run? No. But the thing is, I already made a rule if my Pokemon dies in here, they don't stay dead. Because. Oh, right. Because after three turns, your Pokemon comes back. Ah, uh, gotcha. So they don't stay dead. But it just means Cinderace is probably going to die. We pull it here. I meant to try to throw out my uh, pump skin, but. Do you feel like we're stealing a pumpkin? Well, the pump skin is a grass type. It would have done great against. It would have done, yeah, better against. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because of the way the weakness wheel works. That didn't do as much as I was done. Isn't that always the okay? case? Yeah. Jesus Never Christ! Does as much as you want. Oh, okay. I mean, forgot maybe it's just gonna focus on the tiny bitches because it has terrible priorities. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, focus on the thick one. All right, we're gonna do a max strike, or not? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We didn't need to worry. I was about to say, is this thing a ghost type? No. I'm just collecting candies. Wait, can I go across that bridge here? Oh shit, I can. But I probably sh I shouldn't go up there just yet. 
Do not antagonize the small ones. Probably wait till I get all my Pokemon level 30 or so before even thinking about going over there. <laughs> because they're like 30 and higher over there. Oh yeah. There's this, you see? Hindenburg's not alone, there's Ninjask. Uh -huh. Alright, don't invite others. Well, actually, the, the Dynamax Dens might be better over there. I just have to avoid Pokemon. Because different areas have different levels. Oh, it's you. <laughs> they want revenge. <laughs> uh, looking for revenge. Use the pumpkin. A small nation with that point. <laughs> Fire the seeds. Fire the seeds. <laughs> I didn't say it, but I almost said fire my seed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just just wow. <laughs> oh wow. I wonder if anyone has said that. In in I I, I, I whatever you did. think, yeah. You I mean you just did, right? <laughs> you just did. Even but, if there uh, weren't people who said and said it before, as I'm sure there are, there are more than a few people who did. That's that's the simple fact. One of one of the most important things I picked up from listening to uh, little bits of philosophy here and there is that even if you come up with an idea yourself, like with no outside influence, it's still already been thought of at some point. There's uh, there is nothing billion, new under the sun. That's, that's eight, the quote. Like, there's 8 billion humans alive currently, and, like, dozens of generations before us, every thought has been thought. That doesn't take away from the value of any given thought, but, you know, someone's thought of it at some point. Alright, so, uh, apparently Nightmare wants to learn to move Mega Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare wants to use Mega Punch? Yes. Good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Follow your heart. Follow your heart, Nightmare. You just want to punch Now things. your nightmare comes to life. Alright, so let's go see the Dynamax Dens over here. I'm throwing Buzz Axes with Dynamax. No way. <laughs> I'm not sure if there are any Dynamax Dens over here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> hey, you're a Pokemon. <laughs> what? That's stupid. I can't go across water yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Dynamax Dens over here. Well, I mean, I see them, but there's no lights. So I probably have to fight more gems. Oh, look, there's another Golette. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, one thing I could do, because that's actually a better version of Death Bell. Hey, Bright. Well, you should tape a camera to your Golette. Call that a GoPro. 
really. I hate myself. It's probably you should a bad idea. Feel bad. You should feel bad. You should feel bad. You should, you should feel bad. Wait, it says you strong should, working dust you, Oh god, I need you a You don't have to say that. You, you, are the, you, you are the hernia in my nuts. Oh Jesus, I need to run. Run. It's a level six. Yeah, right. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Who run. the fuck do you think you are? At red, actually? Do you think you're Ash? Who the fuck do you think you are? What? There was nothing the fuck there. Who do you think you are? Rhyhorn. It's a very strong looking Rhyhorn. I probably should leave this area. The tail. Oh. You, you can get it. You can whoop his ass. But what do you got? Yeah, but isn't it strong against Cinderus? Yeah, I think so. Because so, yeah. it's round. Yeah. I mean, you could switch out to a different switch Pokemon. Out. There are other things that fight the right one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Like, you could easily just, like, switch out and, like, level a different Pokemon. Uh, reason I'm over here is I think Bone Egg is over here. Oh, Jesus, hi, Corviknight. I don't know where. Oh, Sora. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, Dual Blade. But that's probably not a good idea to go after him. Oh, look, another Punky Boot. Mainly, I don't know what level the Dual Blade is, and I don't want to fight another level 60. <laughs> I have to go back to the cool guys. No, I can't. No, I can't. Come on. Oh, it was over here. Oh, I get refined dual blade. Dual blade. I may not be able to actually catch it. Try it, fuck it. Why not? I can definitely Says not who? catch it. Says who? It's 56. Says who? There's a limit on what level you can catch in this game. I, I guess, I mean, you just, just say you a bitch. There, there's a limit. It's just a say limit. you're a bitch. Oh just say, just say, I want you to say, I got to bite. I'm a little bitch. I can't Fuck do you. it. See, this trinity can I can't push do it. up to level 30. Oh, you're a bitch. Oh, my name is Dr. Bite. I'm a little bitch. Bitch? 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 You can't make me. Like, you can't make me do that. I mean, even if I agree, and I do agree. Um, so yeah, it looks like I can't get Ponage just yet. Sadly. You're going to have to up your game. And to fight more people. Yeah, get into more battles, beat up some more of the wildlife. Oh, big badger! Oh, fucking huge badger! Oh, that's a whale in there. <laughs> <laughs> that little ass pond. Look at that little ass pond. Look at that little ass pond with that big ass whale in there. Look at that little ass pond. I didn't. I didn't know that we were at Sea World. Oh jeez, that's grim. Yeah, go, go, go talk to Tilikum real quick. What are you doing? Right? I'm trying Stop to turn right out there to t Tilikum. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I, he wants your booty. If you let him, he will get it. Tilikum will, will drag you into that water. Are you calling the whale? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
I want to see. Are you uh, calling the whale? I wanted to know the Shit. whale's only fans. Hey now. What? Did you say whale Settle only down. Fans? Settle down. I mean, whales do have really big fish. Because they're the, some of the largest animals on the planet. Yeah. Okay. Homo sapiens have the largest dicks for like hominids because we fucking we're all horny and we we, we want larger penises inside of us. <laughs> what the fuck? No, not That's all a of fact. us, Momo. That's a fact. Well, not all of us, but <laughs> yeah, like most of us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. how did this get from SeaWorld to talking about sex? <laughs> I'd question if it's like had that much time to evolve. It is. It is. I said it because Hatch was talking about penises. And pound for pound, humans have the largest penis size of yeah. any of the hominids. Species. Oh look, uh, it's medical. Uh, it's it's like hard. Oh, like specifically hominids, yeah, because we're the only hominids left. Yes. Well, um, well, I mean, like every species in like hominid A, everything that falls under yeah. like hominid day. So every single species of like chimp, old world, and new, uh, every single ape, every single uh, monkey, everything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna regret typing this thing. The Novo Average oh, Penis Size. Oh, why are you looking like Well, that? you're about to fuck up your analytics nice and good. Holy <laughs> shit, it's big. Pause. Well, actually, that's. I. Well, I know what you're talking about. Wow, you annihilated it. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. One shot. The average chimp or bonobo penis comes in at eight centimeters. Yeah, and the average human is thirteen. Huh. Yeah, I did not know that. That's interesting. We're learning today. <laughs> the butterfree's afraid of me. The more, the, the more that you makes know. Makes sense. The more you know. And if you're actually wanting to learn now. something, if you're actually wanting to learn something, right stream is better than the learning cha channel. <laughs> most definitely, because the learning channel is uh, like, well, mostly sensational. Yeah, entirely there's good, sensational. Like there, there's like hit or miss decent shows here and there. Yeah, but like, but for every good show, there's a John and Kate plus eight. Yeah. Um, or there's a fucking honey boo boo. Or yeah. there's a fucking like dating while tiny or 600 pound they, life. They did another fucking uh, like they're they're doing like a rerun, like reboot of my strange addiction. Really? Yeah. Where they're like no one... going back and looking at the people retrospectively. That, 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 that. That was, I know there was an episode but, where a guy yeah, said he had but, sex with cars. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there was one girl who liked to chew on diapers, dirty okay. diapers specifically. Jerry, are you okay? Yeah, I was. Okay, I wasn't sure if you're being uncomfortable at this conversation. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm sorry. You guys need to come. I'm thinking I'm going to go nap, but it's unrelated to the conversation. I'm just tired. Ah, uh, okay. I, I also have to go pee, so entertain the like, three. Like, like shit, they couldn't be clean. They couldn't be clean fucking diapers that you had to nibble on. Talking uh, about reasons why I love the character Tiny Tina in Borderlands. And we oh, cannot okay. say because no spoiler for you, Bryce. That's fair. Yeah. So where are all the guys go? Let's no, just say, right. let's just say that the main point of uh, Assault on Dragon Keep is basically Tina coming to terms with the death of someone that's very close to her. 
<laughs> hey, Hatchet. And Yo, doing, or, sorry, sorry, real quick. And doing so through the medium of telling a story in a and d like setting. Yeah. Yeah. You know how I gave Driftloom a uh, Shadow Ball? Have given it a powerful uh, ghost type move instead of uh, Gola, Nightmare? Yeah. Yeah. Nightmare's trying to learn Shadow Ball. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go pee and maybe go to bed. All right. Okay, take care. Later. Yeah, take care. Alright, so now I think Nightmare is good and leveled up enough. Let's get Drifloom up. Have you considered giving Drifloom a potion? Trying to see what the move was. Stockpile. No, we're not learning stockpile. The hell does we're not learning do? swallow either. Swallow? Or spit up. <laughs> it's like it's just trying to make it it's like the game is just trying to set up jokes at Chew's expense. All of the board jokes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is still way faster than the other Pokemon games I've played, leveling up. I mean, yeah. Maybe this is why they changed uh, how the um, stuff works in Scarlet and Violet when you go and fight them. Get candies and stuff. Because yeah. it's obviously broken in this game. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things I've heard is just like people being annoyed with how easy this game is. Move back. I still agree that Ultra, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun are the hardest games I've ever played. Mainly because of Ultra and the Crow's Mark, which I already told you about. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. I even did a run of level 100 Pokemon against the level 60 Ultra and the Crow's Mark. Two hitted all of them. And a fight from three times to kill them. Yeah. They made that thing so overpowered. They made it so... Hello? This bat is a nose trumpeter. Oh, I, I I was speaking, but Discord wasn't picking it up. Uh, fucking Discord, bitch. We still got Momo with us. Yeah, Momo's still here. Uh, okay. But yeah, that bat is a nose trumpet. Okay, the hook is nose. Well, it can say it's it's a woo bat. Because that, it's like with the uh, micro. Thanks, Pink Rabbit. With the micro. Pink Rabbit? <laughs> that's what I've been calling. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> See, Blee! <Blink! laughs> well, I'm glad she keeps getting cut off. With. <laughs> The micro bats that heavily rely on echolocation, uh, I, you can generally tell how they do their echolocation by their nose shape. If they have a really big nose like that, rather than like making sounds with their mouth, they fucking trumpet their nose to echolocate. Oh. They're just constantly blowing their nose. But if, if if it's a micro bat and it's got big ears and it doesn't have one of those noses, then it's going to be a chirper. Huh. This is another small country fed.
Oh yeah, you know it's actually kind of fucked up in this game. The eggs that you get are rookie bees, but you can feed those eggs to rookie bees in order to Okay. I mean, they're probably not fertilized, so it's basically just their periods. <laughs> that doesn't sound any better. <laughs> that, yeah, that doesn't exactly make it sound much better by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no, I'm not trying to make it sound better. I'm just making it more accurate. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the accuracy or the inaccuracy of it doesn't necessarily. <laughs> that doesn't like either way. This 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 is this is not good. It's not good. It's not good. Oh look, we're we're fighting this this guy again. We can get another Shininja. But <laughs> uh, so I'm not gonna catch it. Oh, well, let it go after I burn it. Again. Ta -da! Well, you're gonna kick a big ass fireball at it. God, did he hit so hard, too. Like, it's ridiculous. I still find it like. Like, one of the things I think is just so it's like, if you look at its back, your soul will get sucked into it. That's how it lives, it just eats souls. I mean, you're doing this whole world a favor by not opening it. Yeah. Off the face of the planet. It explodes. Those are the souls, the souls. they exploded. <laughs> Right, so I still love the fact that, like, when he's fucking Dynamaxed, you just can't see all of Cinderus. Yeah. <laughs> Drifle wants to learn the move self destruct. No! <laughs> no, Drifle! Bro! Oh. <gasps> what? Drifloom is evolving. Jesus Christ, Drifloom. Now Drifloom's an even more efficient dealer of Amber Awards. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Some These games are fucked. Some say this Pokemon is a collection of souls burdened with regrets, silently drifting <laughs> through the dusk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you're stuck in the wind. He's dwarfs. Drifflerm. Drifflerm. But yeah, if we can change Drifflerm's name at some later date, we should change it to Zeppelin. Yeah. Oh, then that actually makes it even more appropriate that we named the other one Hindenburg because it isn't going to get used anymore. Yeah. Drifloom was learning to move self destruct. Why? Why, Drifloom? <laughs> because it wants to die. <laughs> it wants to die. It wants to take something with it when it goes. It wants to die. <laughs> That's plain and simple. I love how I try to learn that one move twice. Like, please, like, please, 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 can you let me let me go? <laughs> let me go. I'm I'm ready. Let me go. Let me go. Like, get me the fuck out of here. No, you must always stay here. Ah, <laughs> God damn it! Nothing. I can't have shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a uh, Drifloom uh, fight its child. <laughs> That's sadistic. 
but okay. Where's <laughs> she washing the schooling? Now it went from little fish to big fish. <laughs> Wait. Thunderbolt, super effective. Shadow Ball, super effective. Payback, super effective. Phantom Force, super effective. Well. What is lightning super effective? Yeah, because Drifloon Drifl is um, flying and ghost. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. That asshole thing is about to be punishment enough. <laughs> I got a helping hand from Eevee. <laughs> As if you needed it, but you know what? Fuck it. Smack Plus back. Ah, ah, oh no! <laughs> tossed a fucking. Tossed several houses at it. <laughs> and it died. <laughs> Damn it. One more level, and I'm done with Drifloon. Yeah, Shininja's like the hardest to level up, though. I've realized that. Like, how much experience does he actually need? Or it needs, because it doesn't have a gender. Okay, that's 3,000. Okay, Go Golet needs more. <laughs> well, I mean, generally, when when something doesn't have a gender, you would default to a gender-neutral term that isn't it. Fair. Unless you know that the person is fine with it pronouns. Yeah. Only one away. Take care of these two to head on over to there. Grass type. Oh, I wonder what I should use against the grass type one. Oh, but though, Bright, something I realized. Yeah. You remember how you mentioned that in Borderlands 3, you're gonna wanna play Flak the Beastmaster? Yeah. I still- I, I find it ironic that in that game, you will be the one playing as the agender robot. Really? And not the and not the a gender person. <laughs> All right, who will win, a fire bunny or a seed? I'm firing at my seed. Now then. My brain goes places every time Twin Bunny does that position. And... Well, make sure not to... If, if, if there's some shit you don't want to see, you don't make a hatchet search history. <laughs> you were warned. Search history? You think that I'm, like, closing tabs? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have them, like... I think you have them, uh, like, 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 you have a specific section that you open up. You have tabs that you have in a section, and you open those bitches up when you need them. Oh, yeah, like, I, I'm in, I'm in Opera, and it has different workspaces. And, uh, the two download workspace, let me just go over there real quick. How many, how many tabs? 
Hmm. It's not telling me, but I know it's over 150. We got three Pokemon done already. Oh, another grass one. Yep. What do you mean you have three Pokemon done already? Like, leveling up. I kind of went over with Cinderace oh. at 37. <laughs> it's just a. Ah. Why is this acorn so loud? It seems like fuck. <laughs> Make the tweet funny thicker. The hell is that shit? I will not apologize. Lots well, a different bunny. <laughs> it's completely incinerate the sea. <laughs> the fire bunny was sea. You know what? I... You know, you know, there would be one job that no one would like in the Pokemon world. Uh, Child Protective Services. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more jobs that no one would like to do. And also... Like, also, like, what do you mean when you're saying child protective services? Like, the the fact that, like, the kids are just running out and doing dangerous shit constantly without any parental supervision? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking, uh, that was my second guess. My first one was thinking, we were thinking about drug room. In that case, CPS has nothing to do with that shit. <laughs> it's just like the FBI just points the guns up like, shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> Every city comes equipped with air, with surface-to-air missile turrets, yeah. in case they see drift looms about. Yeah. Mr. President, sir, the drift looms are back. Ah, oh, well, it shouldn't be too bad. Ain't too many of them. It's a drift loom. <laughs> a cloud, sir. A cloud of them. Madam McKenna. <laughs> You know, I think it was back all in the... All of them! All of them? A lot of them! Well, you see, that's the thing. Back in the 60s, there was... Uh, the U.S. military designed a special nuclear missile that would be pretty much safe to fire above residential areas. So you could just launch one of those in. Although I, I still would not trust the military. The military also created a bomb that was so devastating they actually had to deconstruct it. Well, like outside of the fact that it threatened all life on human planet, like every other nuclear bomb, because the blast was so powerful it actually was like capable of cracking the rest of these years. But yeah, the, like, uh, the type of missile I'm thinking about was basically just a significantly smaller nuclear blast. That, like, there were, like, several, like, very obvious tests done that demonstrated that someone can very safely be on the ground underneath one of these blasts. Yeah, I still think one of the, the saddest uh, bomb tests that the American military has done is the bat bombs. 
because we don't we don't talk about the bat bots. I still find it so fucked because when they try to they release them, the bats just fell. <laughs> they didn't wake up in time. Jesus. <laughs> Let's not talk about the pigeon bombs either. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if this was just a joke or not. Did you know ever try and create a gay bomb? What? It wouldn't surprise, it wouldn't surprise me, but I never heard of anything like that. What would a gay bomb even do? I think it was like making you gay. Because that's how it works. That's how it works. Oh, don't in you that know, case, Hatchet? Don't you know? Well, in that case, it would be based upon incredibly outdated bullshit. Now that's how it works. They can bomb the masculinity. Oh. My god, I gotta read this. The gay bomb is an informal name for a non-lethal psychochemical weapon that a United States Air Force Research Laboratory speculated yeah. about cracking. The theories involve discharging sex pheromones over enemy forces in order to make them sexually attracted to each other. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> so yeah, it did. Yeah. They also tried to make psychics. Like on some Akira type shit. Oh yeah. They try but to make psychics. But so. also here's here's the kicker. Using that bomb probably wouldn't change much. Yeah. Given the history of a lot of military stuff. Not to mention the fact, like, let's just be frank. Like there were cultures and societies where gay sex was entirely expected among different soldiers to boost morale. Yeah. Also known as the Spartans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what they what they didn't show you in the movie 300 is that all of those guys were sucking each other off before battle. I mean, but that movie <laughs> is so homoerotic, it's almost impossible mm -hmm. not to see it. Like, seriously, it's, it's incredibly homoerotic. It's one of the most homoerotic films. I have ever watched in my entire life. Um, genuinely, ironically, and trying to make that film as straight as they possibly could. They went back around the other way. They horseshoed their way into being gay as shit. <laughs> yeah, like, like one of the ending scenes was a guy getting like uh, impaled on one of the immortal spears. And so what does he do? He pushes the spear further into himself to stab the guy with his sword. Uh, uh, I mean, come on. I, I think it was really funny. I saw a very batshit insane homophobic meme that was like, men in 300 BC because they didn't know that they, they didn't figure out that the movie 300 they, they thought that that was saying like when the movie was was taking place. Mm. But anyway, it was like a picture from 300, and it's like, men from 300 BC, and then men today, and it just shows a bunch of pictures of guys wearing, like, really fancy dress skirts. And it's really funny, because, I mean, one, Spartans were gay as fuck. They have a and shit. Like... And two... And two, the better part is the fact that according to Spartan and Greek uh, fashion sense, wearing any sort of leg cover co coverings were considered unmanly. Oh. So, like, like there were act like there's existing records that show that a lot of Greeks thought very lowly of the Persians because they wore leg armor. So in other words, in that terrible meme, the guys wearing skirts were actually peak masculinity 
according to ancient Greek aesthetic. But you can't expect them to know that because, Obviously. like, these are the same. He's probably that, 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 like, you know, believes in that red pill shit, not realizing what the red pill actually is yeah. and was about and what that movie was trying to fucking was an allegory for. Yeah. Were you trying to say something, bro? Yeah, he had, do you see this octopus thing? Yeah. It's not a war type. I, okay. Yeah, it's a fighting type. Oh, right. I hope it likes being lit on fire. However, it evolves into a war type. Okay. Pokemon. <laughs> now, at least it's more coherent than Digimon. <laughs> hey, I will not tolerate Digi, Digi Slander in this house. No, no real talk. I will like, not tolerate that shit. No, 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 no. Real talk. I've been having fun watching Bright play Digimon, but the evolutions are so fucking cracked out. They're insane, I and mean, I love them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm meaning. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it hurts my brain. Oh, like it's so good! It's so good. I love it. Yeah, we're gonna. I want to get my three favorite Digimon: Mecha Seedramon, Chaos Dramon, and High <laughs> Andromon. I'm talking about Lilith Mon, uh, the Angel Woman, <laughs> and uh. Dark Angel Woman. Hey, listen. And Beelzemon. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Send pictures of those Digimon to Hatchet later. <laughs> caught, a case of the, caught a case of the vapors. Because Hatchet may not have seen uh, art of those po Digimon yet. <laughs> She's about to call them Pokemon again. <laughs> I know. We do that <laughs> all the time. We do the dish one thing. Oh, Jesus. South Lake Mylock. <laughs> oh, god damn it. It's the Mohawk skunk. The Donald Trump skunk. No, it is not. What? <laughs> it looks nothing like that dumbass. <laughs> You think Donald Trump could ever have fucking like look that good? <laughs> Are you saying the skunk looks good? Yes, the skunk most looks certainly better, better than, than Donald Trump. Trump. Oh the shit! Fucking I... mo the fucking mohawk skunk has style. I'm fucked. Not I mean, only... I mean, I mean, I mean, Donald Trump has a style. <laughs> Oh no. The binnacle. This is not a good one. Oh no. Wait, doesn't this thing become a ghost type at some point? No. What am I thinking? Oh yeah, it's the dead coral that I think. Yeah, dead coral. But the thing is, I looked that up. It's a shield only, not sword. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, and I'll take a urine soul. Because uh, Honage is in sword only, not shield. Uh, so you have to choose either ghost sword thing, or dead coral. dead coral, or or global warming. Before I do anything else, let's use all these candies. I'm probably gonna watch it on stream. I'll be, I'm gonna be out. All right. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Good to see you, Mama. It's good to see you guys. Take care, Mama. Yeah. Uh...
I gotta shoot this dwarf in his stupid bearded face. Oh. Oh, sweet. Death Ball's on level 36. Boom. Nice. Now I just need to get Sheninja and Pumpskin up. Body press, no one can learn that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the heavier the target, the more powerful low kick is. Uh. <laughs> so they're really heavy. God damn it. This rabbit just knocked you off your bike. After this, we can go find the fire generator. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were just gonna kill him. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember this vividly. Uh, on the way to find the fire generator, you're gonna meet um, a compass asshole. So, in other words, I need to get ready to do my dumb British wars? Yeah, it's. Uh, you might know him. It's the Bede. Oh, white hair kid, um, the purple coat. Yeah, I call right, him Pompous yeah, Asshole. I, <laughs> I remember that character. I mean, he is one, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I also have to control my my fucking mouse. Oh, this is a different again, ghost I type. I don't want to be weird on stream, right? I actually don't know what ghost this is. So let's see. Let's see what this is. Let's see if you can capture it. See, this is actually what I'm looking for. No. <laughs> so you don't want. Uh, you don't want to get this cup of tea. No. Why not? You should collect all of the ghost types. You can. Well, I mean, I'm gonna catch it, but it's not that strong. And it doesn't learn that many strong moves. Headset off or something. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to move the Goose Goose Duck thing to Monday. There's a lot of people in the server I'm in, YouTubers. Are, uh, okay, I have headset back on. Oh, right. I forgot you took your headset off. I, I saw it flash, so I thought you were back, but uh, no. But, uh, basically, I decided to move the Goose Goose Duck thing to Monday. Because um, there's a lot of planning for multiple different things in the YouTuber server that I'm in, that there will barely be much people joining, so it's not much people. Like Saturday and Sunday has a lot of booking, so Monday doesn't have anything, so put that there. It. See what it says. You cut. Hmm? You cut the tea. The black tea Pokemon. This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possessed a cold leftover cup of tea. Of all the things she should possess. Chose a cup of tea. Oh, you're not gonna change its name? No. I kind of like its name, Sinisty. Oh, 
more candies. Water, I think I should... No, god damn it! <laughs> dumbass. You'll probably be fine, but still dumbass. Shut up. Shootle! Solar beam. It it's it absorbed light. <laughs> he was brick break. He just slapped the shit out of it. <laughs> oh yeah. You know Mr. Mime, right? The Mime Pokemon. I wish I could him. Yeah, uh, apparently in Pokemon Fusion, instead of just like putting the heads on on the Pokemon or whatever, like you see with Asparagus, each and every one of them is specially designed to make them look like horror, uh, horror abominations. I kid you not. All of them. Yay. And we're gonna see all of them, because eventually we're gonna catch a bunch of Mr. Mimes. Wait, Mr. Mime fused with Mr. Mime. I'll be able to just shut up. <laughs> Why? I don't like you anymore. Why? Mr. Mime fused with Gardevoir. Why do you think? Oh, honey, I don't like it. Shut up. <laughs> Would you still be turned on by it? <laughs> I don't... Fuck you. <laughs> you don't I don't know, know and that's the problem. <laughs> Did you know that some people believe that Mr. Mime was Ash's dad? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen stuff like that. And they're like a scene in the anime where Mr. Mime is like sensually touches Ash's mom's leg. Yeah. Is that normal? I mean, Pokemon Marriage, it was legal at some point. Yes, I know, but I don't need to remind me. That means we can marry our Pokemon. No, no it doesn't. Something was once legal does not mean that it is still legal. Wait, I don't think it actually specifically said it was legal again. Really? Well, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I don't think it did, so technically, it may still be legal. <laughs> what is this? I still, <laughs> I still love the fact that there's so many outdated laws in England. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite is the fact that. Uh, there's still a law that says that you cannot wear plate armor in the House of Lords or something along those lines. <laughs> so, like, you could dead ass be arrested if you walked in wearing the wrong cosplay. <laughs> I'm gonna punch this. Dwarf golem in the tank. <laughs> Come out here and face me like the little shit you are. <laughs> I 
It's you know, you know what I've never seen? I've never seen Whale Lord as Dynamax. Oh, it's just a big whale. Yeah. <laughs> what do you expect it to look like? An even bigger whale. There's actually one thing that does confuse me about what Pokemon, uh, Nintendo's doing. You know how there's like a... I know you... Oh yeah, you probably don't know. They made a special version. They made a future... Yeah, a past version of uh, the Susan and Raikou. Like dinosaur version. Okay. But the thing that confuses me is they came from the Watchtower when Hopo revived them. So now I'm confused. You're basically speaking a different language to me. Well, let's just. Alright, so. Those two Pokemon were made dinosaurs in Scarlet and Violet. As Paradox Pokemon. But in Pokemon lore, Raikou, Entei, and Susine were burning to death in like maybe like the 1800s in the Pokemon universe and um and Ho-Ho uh, put out the fire and revived them and that's how they became legendary Pokemon so uh, so I'm not, I'm confused as were they dinosaurs at some point <laughs> School fish. I actually do like wishy washy design, where it, it they uh, unless its health is too low, it looks like a bunch of fish put together and it's a big fish. Yeah. I forgot what type of fish is based off of. There's like multiple fish that do that now. Yeah. 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 And I'm about to one shot this ant. Let's fuck the ant. Oh, that's the funny thing about uh, these ants in this game. In this game, there's a quick thing that says. It developed the steel type armor to prevent itself from being eaten by Keatmore. And then there's some that says about Keatmore that says Keatmore has this lava hot tongue that melts through Durant's armor. <laughs> so they made the armor for nothing. And what I'm guessing is like they're in an evolutionary arms race. Yeah. And we're seeing the back half of it. Switch Pokemon. Gonna send out Pump Skin. Oh shoot, I was gonna hit invite others. Uh oh. Okay, good. I can just start it. I don't have internet, so no one would have arrived anyway. Okay. Like, like on this account, I don't. I didn't pay for internet on this account. Uh, I still find it on you. I have to pay a bunch of money a month for n multiple Nintendo accounts to have internet, but to have internet. Capitalism. Oh, 
Fire the seeds. God damn it. I like this Pokemon. Oh yeah, they made this Pokemon into a pencil sharpener. Like a large <laughs> one. Uh <laughs> it looks like it though. That's good. I like that. That's that's a good March idea. Now what they need to do is make the chonk plushies. Yeah. They haven't done that yet, and it, it needs to be done. So I think that's one of the Pokemon I most love in Scarlet and Violet, it's the Chomp. <laughs> Bit the screen. I just love it every time they just explode when they lose. I think the first thing I'll do before going to to the, find the, the fire gym guy, once I get everyone to 36, is to uh, look at all the stuff I need to sell, sell it, and see how much money I have. So I probably have a lot. Yeah, didn't you mention that you use Dynamax Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can get good uh, stuff. Like the last one, I got a nugget. Okay. Do you have one of Nuggets Nuggets? I forgot how I did his voice. I think it was close to Patrick or Fire Fish. Digimon. And more borderline. That's one of those Pokemon series. I think like when I finish Digimon, I'll get to go back to Pokemon. Huh? 
Show a bunch of candies. Man. Oh my gosh! Look at all this. This is all sellables. Oh, treasures. And are like none of them useful? No, you can't use them for anything. Ooh. Oh, you're still keeping Sheldon and Joan there? Yeah, mainly because of Wonder Guard. That's very useful. Oh yeah, but like, since he's got Bug on him, aren't most things strong against Bug? Um, no, surprisingly. Um. Now I can use the rest of these for pump skin. What is bug straw against grass? What was that? I said, what is bug straw against grass? Uh, yeah, strong against grass. Is that the initial strong again? I don't know, I. I think there might be one more type, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Let me look it up. Oh, I've still got the vanilla average boots. That's it. Perhaps type. I'm oh, about to fight a pseudo legendary. Wish me luck. Wait, who you fight? A pseudo legendary. It's not legendary, but it, has, it can have the strength of one. Like the stats and everything. Oh, yeah, this thing. I'm going to incinerate it. Grass type, grass type attacks are strong against water, rock, and ground type Pokemon. And weak. Wait, oh, grass type attacks. Wait, no, I meant to say bug. God damn it. What did I say grass? <laughs> bug type Pokemon strong against. Okay. Bug type moves are super effective against dark, grass, and psychic type. Oh. Wait, so that thing might actually be useful when we go up against the the bug gym? Well that's only if he goes first. He is still yeah. weak to dark. Actually, before I go do that, I could do an item called Focus, uh, Focus Slash, which after one hit allows you to survive on one HP. He has one HP, <laughs> so... Uh, but it only works for one hit. Yeah. So in other words, you can... I mean, you can literally double the amount of times he can get hit. Yeah. I just need to find out where to get one. What's it called? Focus Slash. But Sash or something like that. Focus Slash. Um, to get focus Sash and Pokemon Sword. Uh, there's a YouTube tutorial. Where do I find Focus Sash? It's in Hammerlock Hills. That's very late game. Toward the Lake of Outrage. Oh, yeah. I need to be able to, uh, to swim uh, before I get that. Okay. Well, everyone's on level 36 now. 
So let's go to here. Go in here. Huh? Wait, no, not buy. Here, sell. Buy it all, bright. Buy it all. Okay, so yeah, just watch how my money grows. I went from sixty grand to two hundred and eighteen grand. Yeah, I have plenty of money. <laughs> Now buy all of the quick balls. Oh, you have to use watts for that, which is the, the dens. Oh. Wait! I just realized something. I I think we have enough um stuff to buy crunch. And if I can give crunch a cinderace, that could give me an advantage. At some point, I think. Oh, wait, no. Dark doesn't work with dark. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of something else. Huh? Yeah. No, it was Stone Edge I was thinking of. Right. But I can buy it now. I think I'll spend the rest on quick balls. Those are useful. It's only 50 watts per one ball. I have 1400. <laughs> Got okay, 36 quick balls, and I flat out broke on once. All right, I didn't even move forward. What the hell happened? Before I go anywhere, I actually have to go pee again. I've been drinking too much. You're not drinking too much. It's good that you're remembering to drink in the first place. Shut up. <laughs>